this is a meeting of the Public Works Commission of the City of Northampton. It's Wednesday, June 29th, 2016, at 6 p.m. Uh, first item on the agenda is public comment. But seeing as the public is here for a specific item, um, if there's something that you'd like to say at that point, we'll just wait until we get to your item on the agenda. I move that we have item number two out of Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? I'm not opposed. I'm just going to abstain from our not abstention. Not participate and abstain from your voting on that item. <coughs> so, item two in the new business is a discussion and vote for discontinuance of a portion of Elm Street. And at five o'clock today, we held a meeting and a public hearing at the site of Elm Street that um, was being proposed for discontinuance. Uh, five of us were there. So um, I think out of fairness to you, we need to um, describe enough of it so that you're comfortable with what we're talking about. So um, do you want to do it or do you want John to do it? John? John? So this is John Furman from VHB, um, working for Smith. Let me just tuck my shirt in so I appear <laughs> presentable. Uh, should I get the tripod out or just can I hold the it table through here? The table. Okay. All you right. can put it right flat on the table. Okay. Enjoy. okay. All right. Uh, so this is the uh, the actual discontinuance plan uh, to orient yourself. This is where College Lane uh, connects into uh, Elm Street, uh, Henshaw Avenue, and Roundhouse. So the part that is being conveyed or proposed to be conveyed to Smith College is this triangular piece here. So we worked with uh, uh, the DPW. Um, our surveyors have uh, you know, approximated where this line is, which is the existing line. The back of sidewalk kind of follows this now. And then this is the new course uh, for what the, the right of way would be. And this piece, approximately 8,855 square feet, would be conveyed. Um, so just flipping through the, the plan set, this is the utility plan, uh, the relocation plan for, for the work. So that discontinuance line that you just saw is this line right here. So it starts here, comes along to a face of a new uh, entrance wall. Then from this point here where we have the bend, it basically just shoots straight across to the back side of the sidewalk and then forms that triangle again. Mm -hmm. right, and then all of this work that is shown on this plan is to take existing utilities that exist crossing through this area now and redirect them so that they remain in the public way uh, after construction. And that involves water, some water, sewer, drainage, and then nothing that the, this board would be concerned with, but it would be then the electrical and the gas. Okay. Okay. Any questions? No. Any questions from the commission? Uh, someone have a motion? Oh, well, that we, uh, ex let me see, we agree to discontinue this. Uh, property from uh, the city to Smith College. Second. Any discussion on the motion? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. We'll report to the city council. Good. The college appreciates your <coughs> Do you want those plans for your file? Here, we have, we have them. You have them? Okay. Good to go. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> I spent oh, wait to hear the next one. I spent 10 years on this county commission doing what one uh, uh, one Friday a month we did discontinuances all over the county for, in most cases, some petitions generated from the towns of Hampshire County to discontinue roads, which were typically in the city's best interest to do so. The property 
then reverted to the two abutters on either side of it. But in some cases, it became quite controversial because it eliminated uh, forms of, of access and potential access that people were hoping to be able to have mm -hmm. with uh, public roads rather than what other means of access people might have or not have to their property. So it could often be contentious. But it was, it was um, Bud Huntley, Ned's father, mm -hmm. who was the county engineer who accompanied us on these uh, monthly discontinuance hearings that we had. And, uh, and thank God he did because he knew where we were going because they were the, they're the most remote, obscure <laughs> parts of the respective towns of which we didn't know how to get from North Street to South Street anyway. Right. So it, right. Was, it was really, uh, it was very interesting. Beef Pat, we kind of missed it with our whole private, uh, yeah. private way. Private way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of that. That was good. Uh, next item on the agenda is approval of the minutes of the May 23rd meeting, which have not been prepared yet, so I recommend that we table it, which could quite literally be indefinitely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need a motion for that, or we just table it? I could say so moved. Yeah, there you go. All in favor of tabling Aye. that item? Aye. 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 Motion passes. <laughs> Next item under new business is discussion and vote for acceptance of a portion of Pleasant Street as a public street and earlier this evening at 5:30, we held a meeting and a public hearing to uh, consider this uh, proposal and we had one member of the public attend who was in favor of the discontinuance um, in essence uh, it's it's the city accepting a portion of the state highway and uh, we need to determine uh, whether or not we think that uh, street is suitable to be accepted as a public way, as I see it. So I'll make a motion that we that we accept that uh, uh, discontinuance of that area. No, accept. Accept. Pardon me. Um, and I think we should refer to uh, some stationing, David. Could do that. And the motion. Do you want approximate stations? Would that be sufficient? Sure. So, um, from approximately station 200 to 207. Okay. So I'll accept that as an amendment. I think you will. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the benefit of everyone, including the public, um, what <laughs> might that could mean? Could, could we have I, a second first? Okay. Second. Uh, discussion? You have something to say? <laughs> I think it would be nice for everyone to understand what 200 to 207 means in, t in terms of, like, we were out there, so we know what it means. But it's basically from the corner of Holyoke and Pleasant down to Hockenham. That section of Route 5. A little bit beyond Hockenham. And that would be about 700 feet. Yes. That's right. MJ, would you like to see the drawing of Actually, this one? I would, yeah. And do we have a recommendation from the department staff? The staff? Um, do we have a recommendation from the staff? We have a positive recommendation. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> How many feet? Approximately 700. Yeah, those streets are right there. <laughs> 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 they, they appeared to be there when we were there. <laughs> Who knows if they're still there right now? Um, any further discussion on this motion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion passes. Uh, oh, water restriction. Next item on the agenda. Hmm. Someone prepared to talk about that? Sure. City of Northampton Department of Public Works implemented a water use restriction for the users of the Northampton Public Water Supply on June 21st, 2016. Um, it is regulated, the city's water supply system is regulated by Mass DEP, Department of Environmental Protection. DEP requires that water restriction be implemented when the stream flow in the Mill River drops below 
26.3 cubic feet per second for a three-day period. Water restriction can be lifted when the stream flow rises above that level for seven consecutive days. Um, city ordinance 325-14 requires public notification of of state of, of the state of the water supply conservation and notification of DEP. Um, Department of Public Works notified the mayor's office. The mayor's office issued a press release on June 21st, 2016. We also made provisions for our dispatch to do reverse 911 calls, which went out at 5.30 p.m. that evening. Any questions regarding this? I'd just like to make a comment that didn't rain the next day, I said, often, <laughs> 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 That's right. often we get the reverse calls during the snow, uh, rainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Tana. Any, any questions? I, I am, have one question is the, what is the, so the way this used to happen, it was be based on the level of the reservoir, and I'm just curious where the reservoirs are right now. I don't know the answer to that. Okay. What's that? Because I know sometimes we've gone into restriction and the reservoir was spilling. <laughs> yes, but that's not the way our current water management plan is written. Oh, it's I know. Written based yeah. on oh, I, and I understand why and all that. It, uh, but it was just sort of the same, you know, same thing. We're, we're <laughs> it's raining, <mind -blowing laughs> and uh, but, uh, I'm sure we can get you that information, Gary, if you're interested. It's not at all critical. Why don't you bring it to the next meeting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, that would be very helpful. <laughs> Maybe I'll just ride my bike up there and check it out. I will also mention that we are required to notify the DEP, and we did notify DEP as required. Good. Well, now you know what to do next year and the year after and the year after, because it's an annual occurrence. Mm -hmm. um, any more discussion on water restrictions? Um, topics that the chair did not reasonably anticipate <laughs> when the agenda was put together, but then there is a topic that the chair did anticipate after the agenda was put together. And it is, um, I thought it would be appropriate to recognize all that BJ's done for us. And it really hit home over these last couple of weeks when, um, don't, well, I don't want to choose the words I really want to use. When this whole public works, uh, public hearing thing came up and we had to scramble and decide to hold public hearings and mail out, mail out the certifieds and put together the agenda and, um, and BJ did a great job. And so it reminded me that BJ's done a great job for the whole time that we've worked with her. And so I thought we ought to recognize that and Ro was kind enough to Kind enough to pick up Aww. some flowers. Yes, I do. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank 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 you. <laughs> Enjoy my grandkids. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Yes. Um, any other topic that someone wants to bring up? Then I'll accept a motion to adjourn for the last time, no doubt. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right, we are adjourned. <laughs>